So, so yeah, I was just talking about this a second ago. I had this really strange dream last night about this kid that I went to high school with. And he was a really terrible person, like just not a nice person. But he was really popular because he got into fights all the time. He dealt drugs. He played on the basketball team before he got like really into drugs. But he was really popular. And he had it so easy. He also came from a lot of money. Because I used to be friends with him before he switched over. It was really weird. He was like this Christian kid. And I think we went to church together and stuff like that. And I used to like go into his house because his, his parents were really nice. And he was a really nice kid. And, and he was really rich. He had a lot of money. Which is really nice for me because I didn't have any money. So, when I went to his house, it felt nice because, like, he had money. And, like, like I, I always felt like people that had money, their houses were warm. You know, like, they were, parents were very loving. Usually the parents were still together. They were nice parents and... So, yeah, so, I used to go to his house, and he had a lot of money, and, um, and he used to be a really nice person, and then, like, he switched over to the dark side, I guess you could say, and he became, like, a really, like, not nice kid, you know, and... But... I don't know. And last night I had a dream about him. And... I always struggle on the weekends with not seeing enough people, not feeling loved. Because the buses don't run on Sunday. And usually I get most of my love and most of my social time in. And, and I talk to a lot of people on the bus. Because the bus is like one of my families. And so the bus doesn't run on Sundays. So Sundays are very hard for me. Because uh, I don't get the social time in. I don't speak with as many people. I don't feel love. I don't feel loved. And it's always really rough on Sundays. Because most of my friends aren't real friends, I guess you could say. Like, they're they're okay. But I think most people are just in it for themselves, you know. They're just, you know, they got their own issues. They got their own things going on. And I don't know. I, I, sometimes I feel like nobody's really there for you. Like, nobody is, like, truly there for you, you know. So this morning I woke up, and I had this dream that this kid was really happy, and he was invited to all these events, and he was on the softball team, and he was spending time with all these people on the softball team. And I wanted to spend time with those people on the softball team. But I wasn't invited to the game, the softball game, I guess. And I spent time in this room with this person that wasn't even, like, really a real person. They were kind of... I don't even know if they were a real person. But I was in this room that I really didn't want to be in. It was, like, kind of like this dark, dystopian, strange room. And I knew that... And I could visualize... And I could see what was happening at the softball game that I wanted to be at. And Alex Baldwin was was at the you know softball game, and the kid from high school, he was at the softball game, and he was really happy, and 
and I wasn't at the softball game. And it really upset me, and, and I woke up to that dream, and I felt like, you know, like, why, why did I have that dream? And I was like, well, what do you feel like because nobody, like, accepts me? And, like, I don't really feel loved by anybody right now. And then I thought to myself, like, you know, like, throughout my life, two of my only best friends in my life have been basketball and beer. Like, those are my go-tos. Like, when I don't feel loved by people... I either go to basketball or I go to beer. <clears throat> beer gets me girlfriends. So, like, love might come with that. Basketball, which is a healthier coping mechanism, gets me surface level buddies doesn't get me relationships actually gets me less relationships because I spend all my time playing basketball and I'm not involved with dating people or getting to know people because I become obsessed with basketball so both of those coping mechanisms are unhealthy I guess but they're the only two friends that I've ever had you know like other than people and I don't really trust or put my faith in people because it's like well I always fuck up anyways like well, look what just happened with my sister I fucked that up look what happened with my mom I messed that up so now I don't have my niece I don't have my nephew I don't have my brother-in-law which used to be one of my best friends but he's an NAAA guy so, like, he probably thinks that, like, I've fallen off the wagon. He thinks I'm not righteous or whatever. So I don't have him. I don't have my family. My other friends are just... They just do whatever they want to do. So that brings me back to this, like, alone state where it's just like, well, I can't really trust people because they just... Because, like, I, my behavior is always way all over the place because, like, of my emotional fuckery. Because I have a tendency to lose my temper or get angry or get frustrated or become a psychopath or a sociopath where I tell people I'm going to slice their throats open. So it's like, what the fuck is the point, man? So I could just play basketball and dribble basketballs all the time. Because every time I drink beer, I just get more homicidal and I just drive people further away from me. I don't know what the fuck is... No, I don't even know what the fucking point is anymore, man. And no days are ever good days, man. Like, you think they're good days, but, like, in the long run, you look back on, like, weeks, months, and nothing is ever good. I swear to God, like, like the thought of just killing myself is like getting greater and greater and greater every day. And it's a calmness, too. It's a calmness. Like, the thought of death or killing myself is a calm thought. And then when I think about it, I get giddy and angry and I just think about, like, blowing my head off. And then the calmness returns. Because what do I have? I have three choices. Basketball. Beer. People. All three don't work. All three fail. Because of the fact that I have borderline personality disorder. So what the fuck are we even living for? Like honestly, what the fuck is the point? And we can't get into the dating scene because we live a half-life. And like, 
like the other sex, you know, females, especially females, no, no offense to females, but they want a guy that they can provide and have a really nice job and they, they provide for them and shit. And I can't do that. So what the fuck is the point of my existence? No girls want to date me. Because I can't keep a job because I'm so fucking all over the goddamn place. Like, I get angry and fucking homicidal at work. And I want to fucking, you know, then, like, I get fired because I'm too angry. Or, like, fucking, I get, like, severe anxiety and I paranoia and I think people are out to get me. And plotting against me at my workplace and I have to, like... Like, I get scared of people because I think they're, like, out to get me uh, where I work. And then I have to quit or they fire me because I'm, like, way too deranged after a while. Or I get so suicidal because I, like, I can't function enough to keep the job. So I start to get worried and I, I can't sleep anymore. Because I'm so worried about, like, functioning and getting to work on time and getting up on time. And I'm so obsessed about time that I can't, can't, you know, and, and I, I can't sleep anymore. And then I, like, fucking, I become suicidal. And then they end up firing me because I look awful. Or, I, like, I have to take days off from work because I'm, like, so, like, suicidal. I can't be around people. Because if people look at me, I'll start crying. It's fucking so stupid that I'm even living. It's like, what the hell is the point? Like, honestly, what the fuck is the point? So I keep dribbling basketballs? And I give up beer. Oh, I should have never given up beer. I don't know, man. I might as well just either drink myself to death. Because what the fuck is the other option? At least that way I'd be dating women or something. I don't know. I don't even fucking know anymore, man. I gotta go. God damn it, man. I fucking hate this shit. Have a good day. Hope you're having fun, man. I don't fucking... What the fuck, man? And buy the fucking ebook, man. It's a goddamn dollar. Maybe it'll help you. Fuck it.